Hello Pumpkins and thank you for joining me back at my channel. Today is going to be a review of the Cl Clinique, <laughs> Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. So I picked mine up at Sephora and I had I picked up two because I wasn't quite sure of um, you know what color I was or which what color was going to match me so I did pick up two and I'm glad I did because um, one of them I got the darkest color in the other one I got um, the third to the to the darkest color okay so this is what the product looks like it comes with one fluid ounce the price of these foundations are twenty three dollars and like I said I got it at Sephora so the benefits of this foundation is supposed to be that it keeps you matte all day now I have used these foundations quite a bit um, I've had them for a while and I was meaning to do a tutorial, I mean, a uh, review on them earlier, but I'm glad I didn't because it gave me time to use it. So, um, let me show you what it looks like. So, the first one I'm going to show you is Amber. And Amber has a little bit more of a yellow undertone to it. So, um, my skin does have a yellow undertone in the center, but on the outside, it's much darker. So I'm going to just show you what it looks like. It's a really, really um, nice foundation. I like it because it's really light. Um, uh, when I usually wear it, I wear it when I go to work. And I have it on for about almost 10 to 12 hours. So that one is Amber. And this one is Sienna. You can see that it has a little bit more of a... Um, neutral undertone to it so a little bit goes a long way I do like the packaging of it it's it's sleek and it's 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 nice it's just comfortable um I like that it's plastic so I don't drop it and break it that's what I normally do with my foundations but so um I don't really have too much to say about the foundation but I do like it um after maybe after like six hours I do find myself that I really do need to touch up um, a little bit in my T-zones, T-zone, and I'm, I have oily skin, so um, I don't think that this foundation works too well if you have dry skin. I have read a lot of reviews online before I bought it, so um, it's supposed to be good for oily skin. So I'm just going to do a really quick um, demo just to let you see how it looks on my face. Um, I mix these two colors together and it states that you can use a foundation brush sorry about the noise outside a foundation brush or your fingers I find it better that if you use your fingers it just blends into the skin more e more easily and you use less product so as you can see I only put like one maybe like one drop so I'm just gonna mix this in a little bit I'm going to need more than this though, but this is what it looks like when it's mixed together. I'm going to do this side with my finger, with my hands, and then I'll show you what the other side looks like when I'm using a brush. I think I really do believe, not believable, I really do think that the bra, that using a brush, you use way too much product, but some people um, don't like using their fingers. So I'm just mixing a little bit more of color to it. I'm trying not to make this video so long. So I'm mixing it on the back of my hand and I just put it on my face I like that it's a, a light foundation um, you can build it up it's it's a medium to full foundation when I wear this I'm looking just to even out my skin tone um, I do have moisturizer on my face I did not use any primer um, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have a separate video of some new moisturizer that I'm using, which um, I don't have to use a primer with it, and it's a really, really good moisture um, moisturizing cream. So uh, let's blend. I hope my lights are not really making it too yellow muffins, but it's a really nice foundation. You can see that it blends in well. It just evens out my skin tone when I don't really want to um, wear a lot of foundation. 
You can see how easily that blended in with my fingers. It feels so light on the skin. And I really do like it. I'm going to come up just a little bit more muffin so you can see. And you can see that it, it did um, cover my dark circles pretty well. Um, I would still have to go on with some concealer. So let's go to this side and we can use the brush. So I'm going to mix the color again on the back of my hand. And I'm going to put a little bit more than I did on this side because I'm using a brush and a brush does um, take up a little bit more product. Um, you can use your beauty blender also. I just find that it's better to use your um, fingers. So I'm just going to put some foundation there. And I'm breaking out. I'm using, um, testing out a new moisturizer. Not not the one I just was talking about. I'm, I'm testing out the e.l.f. Um, what is it called? Their skin line. I'm testing that out and I'm not quite sure if that's breaking me out or not. But I've been using it like maybe for like two or three weeks. So I am going to come in to give a my last final thoughts on it because I did the video already. I just have not edited it yet. So as you can see, it's on my face. Now, um, I really do like to use the Sedona Lace 480 brush. Um, and the Morphe M439 brush is really good also. It's so soft. But I'm going to use my favorite brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend in this foundation. And now it states that you're supposed to start in the center and blend your way out. And you can see that this side is not given as much uh, coverage as this side because the brush is really soaking up a lot of the product a little bit, you know. It states that you don't have to use a setting um, powder, but I normally do because when I go to work, I sweat and stuff like that sometimes. And it was really easy to blend in really well with the brush. But this side gives a little bit more coverage. You can see that um, it didn't really cover up the dark circles here. So I'm going to take the color amber. I'm just going to take that and then place that underneath my eye. And I just want to see how it um, blends out with the brush. So let me get the brush. Uh, what brush do I want to use? I'm going to use my Sedona Lace 618 brush. Put the mirror up so I can see. Still didn't cover as good as using my fingers, though, but. Okay, so there you have it, muffins. You can see the difference between this side and that side. I think it's better that you use your fingers. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say about the foundation. It comes in a wide variety of colors, which is really, really good. Um, I would suggest that you go into your um, go into Sephora or wherever you purchase it and try it out getting a sample first. Um, just so you can figure out your color and stuff because it can get quite expensive if you're buying two or three different colors to mix and match so you want to just make sure that you get the right color and I really do like like this foundation I have worn it not mixed at all just a you know a light um, application and I'm out the door um, so this is what it looks like I really do like it muffins let me know if you like this foundation if it looks okay on me Alright, so that was my quick review of this foundation. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them below and I can answer them for you. I want to thank you for joining me back at my channel, for subscribing, and I love you muffins. Bye.